Hey horse lovers, heading to the horse auction. So I'm gonna make this video to give you some tips and advice when you're looking at horses that are at auction. All right, let's go. Heading into the auction barn now, we're gonna check out the horses and we'll see what we can find today. All right, so I'm getting ready to walk in now. Currently they are selling tax, so they're gonna be doing this for a little bit and then they'll be selling horses. So we're getting ready to head into the sale barns. There are two of them right now and we're gonna check out all the horses and see what they're gonna bring through today. Also for the record, I'm not here to buy today most likely, but you never know. All right, let's see what they have here today. I'm excited to check everything out, see the horses and just see how everything goes. There was this really sweet horse, had a really cute braid, seemed really friendly and kind. And then, oh my gosh, wait till you see this. I literally freaked out. It was so cute. Look at that. Like, I can't even I believe it. The so they're being sold as a pair. So it's a mom and a little baby. And I'm just gonna go in there. I'm not gonna invade their space too much, but I just kind of want to check them out. That baby is precious. And apparently the baby is two weeks old. Mom is a pony, absolutely being sold as adorable. A yeah, they were horrible. My heart literally cannot take this. It is so precious. Like I literally just want to cry. Like I'm not kidding. It's so cute. That is precious. Look at that sweet face. These horses just look tired. They're Amish horses, they drive. Definitely Amish horses. There was this little bay quarter horse, super adorable. And there were some sad cases, so just wanna warn you just a little bit. Um, there was a sweet paint mare, just an absolute little angel. It kinda, kind of broke my heart like this can be emotional like I know it's fun to go to auctions sometimes but it's also hard so I don't know she may be a little older given her back and confirmation not quite sure but you can see some ribs so she's definitely a little underweight again just looks tired and there was a few other horses that were definitely underweight I mean you see this a lot in the spring because it's right after winter time and they may not be getting exactly what they need. This horse looks like it had a little rain rod or something going on with the skin. As you can see, I'm touching, but I use some hand sanitizer, wash my hands afterwards. But yeah, I mean, really sweet horses, but it is hard to see that sometimes. And I just want you to be conscientious of what to look for when you go to an auction, because these are the things that you see. And this horse was actually in pretty good shape. I thought he was super cute and adorable. He was very stocky. I don't think he's draft, but he almost had like that draft bill, just like a really nice stocky paint. And he was so friendly. We definitely had a connection. I thought he was super cool. Very nice looking horse. And then there was this paint pony that was kind of cute, really adorable. And then look at this little bunny. I'm allergic to bunnies. Like, come on, they're so cute. I want one so bad, but obviously I can't. We're going in the second part now. Then there were these two beautiful Belgian draft horses. Oh, this made me so sad. They're so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at this absolutely stunning Appaloosa gelding. Obviously I'm obsessed because if you're new to the channel, I'm obsessed with Appaloosas, but if you're not, you know. He is stunning. So they're saying that he's a 12 year old grade Appaloosa horse, just needs a refresher. I'm just checking him out. I'm looking at his legs. I'm looking at his eyes, seeing if he's responding to that. I'm just looking all over his body, seeing if there's any anomalies or issues that are present. Picking up his leg here, but then another horse like kind of walked by, so he was like a little spooked by that. <laughs> but yeah, so they're saying he's 12. I'm gonna send pictures to my dentist and confirm that, see what he says. Then we saw this really cute paint, had a really pretty blue eye, super sweet. It's really fun seeing all the horses. But then look at this. <laughs> A Fjord Stallion. He was so precious and so cute. Super rare to find a horse like this at an auction. So kind of just makes you wonder because they are more of like an exotic, rare 
expensive breed because they're not as easy to find but he was a little love bug like look at his neck i love him i so wish he wasn't a stallion um nothing wrong with that i just wouldn't get a stallion but anyways he is just so cute and they are just built so they are a norwegian breed they're built to be strong enough to drive and work but light enough to ride and they're pretty agile so we'll see what he ends up going for really interesting i couldn't resist looking at this adorable baby cow that was munching on hay so sweet then we saw a couple nice quarter horses so we were checking them out and then we noticed that they were riding some of the horses in this little ring so we just were watching again of course i'm looking at the appaloosa to see how he's moving how he's responding this horse right there, the chestnut sorrel, is a standard bred. The other one is a quarter horse. And then she just mounted the appy. Um, she has split reins on, so she dropped it. So she's just trying to get that rein back. And he just seemed like he wanted to kind of walk off. This quarter horse is really big. He's like, I swear, he's like 16'3". He is huge, but he's kind of cool. But yeah, I just want to watch and see how they're acting and responding to different things. So hopefully you enjoy seeing it as well. That paint mare that we saw earlier, that's her. So yeah, just kind of checking it out. Also, if you're enjoying this video, if you could like and comment so it'll spread to more people, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe too. So I'm looking at everything right here. I'm looking at how the horses are responding to the riders, to the bit, to the aids. You can tell a lot just seeing what they know with how they're responding. Some of this is not the easiest to watch, but I don't want to you know, comment on anything regarding that. But anyways, you just want to see like is the horse calm like he seems really quiet this appaloosa here and just it's a really kind of windy cold crappy day so you got to take that in consideration but as you can see that standard bread isn't moving forward there could be lots of reasons why looking at this appy he has a really kind eye i'm really big at checking that out but seeing him trot yeah she's a little in his mouth but at the same time he may not be that broke the bidding is going to start soon. For the majority of this portion, I'm just going to let the auction noise play so you can hear prices and hear what's going on without adding music or talking. So, hope that gives you more of an indication. Uh, ben using penny zoos and all that stuff. They rode him uh, just in the halter and laid rope, guys. Uh, just rope general. Two, three, two, but it was over there. Listen to JL Pine. Baby's a Philly. 30 day guarantee, guys, for one deal. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Now thirty-three. 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 Thirty-three.
Bullet 3800, 201, 201. Hot and blazing, to go back to Blazing Hot, Hot Rider Jet Set. Uh, on the bottom side goes back to Sky Blue Walker. I uh, got the papers right here, guys, on it. Okay, so he's coming through now. I have to make a decision. The dentist still hasn't texted me back about his true age. Dutch, she's a 12 year old, 15 two hand, Appaloosa gelding. Lady brought a handful in here. Don't like it. This is the first time riding, I'm a little nervous. I'm in here, guys. Sweet gentle, advanced beginner rider, up to date on everything, guys. Ah, uh, they're giving about, uh, about 3,000 to go. 2,100. They say to this Appaloosa was 12 years old, so I sent pictures to my dentist, and he responded right after he came through the ring. So, I was told he was 12 years old, apparently he's 22. So, moral of the story, make sure that you're being conscientious and aware of what's being sold at an auction. Hey, he's a, just a take a little bit dry, right there. Ah, uh, we'll about a two thousand to go. Two for the thousand, 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 two thousand hours to go. Thousand bucks, thousand bucks, thousand thousand for the left, eleven for the left, eleven for the right. We get twelve hundred, twelve hundred, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one hundred straight away. Uh, two forty-three. Came on a dude ranch. Came in all late and said good. Right there to go, guys. Uh, 12 year old gallon. You get about 2,000 to go. Two for the do do do. You get 2,000 to go. Two for the do do do. You get 2,000. 2,000. Two for the do do do. 1,000 bucks. 1,000 for the 1,000. 1,000. 11 for the 1,000. 11. You get 1,200. 11 for the 1,000. Nice trail horse, guys. 1,200. 11 for the 1,000. 12. 13 for the 31. 31. You get 3,100. 31. 3 for the 31. 32 for the 32. Okay, so we're just leaving the auction. No, I did not buy anything for once. So proof that I can go to an auction and not buy anything. But we'll be going to one in May and see how that goes. So hopefully you learned something today and that you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye.